So, um, yeah, I made a bit of a mistake with the uh, wicker book you guys saw in the last video. But yeah, what is going on, guys? Back with another video, and in today's video, I'm gonna be plastic dipping the goddamn uh, wicker build that I installed in the last video because I ordered the wrong one. On the, uh, <laughs> like, I intentionally, like, ordered the one that I have now, but I didn't, I wasn't thinking. Like, I really wasn't thinking. So, like, on ZL1's website, they had they have the standard and they have the dark tint. And I'm like, well, I want the dark, I want the middle piece to be dark, cause I like the uh, other ones. They're like clear or whatever. And I'm like, all right, well, I want it to be dark. Turns out, the dark tint meant the entire thing was see through. Yeah, that's what it meant by in the little parentheses. The entire product is uh, see through. And I just thought it meant the uh, <laughs> the little part in the middle. So uh, luckily, I could fix this with some plastic dip. Many people have, it's the same material that's uh, made out of a motorcycle's windscreen. So, luckily, people have done this before, like, you know, with motorcycles and stuff like that. So, it's nothing like out of the ordinary because, you know, sometimes people want to, you know, darken their windscreen and out. So, I'm just going to put some plastic dip on there, put a glossifier on there, and then hopefully it comes out looking nice. I'm hoping. Because I'm not going to lie, when I was like looking at it, I'm like, it looks really good, but something doesn't look right on it. And then I got the thing, and I'm like, something looks off here. And so I went to Instagram, looked at some pictures of Camaros, and I'm like, that's what it is. Only the middle part is see-through. The rest of it is all black. So, yeah, I'm going to fix, be fixing that in this video. It shouldn't take me that long to really do. Um, it is a little bit colder outside, so hopefully the plastic dip goes down properly. There's no warm days ahead, so I can't wait for warm day. I think this may be the one of the warmest days that we have, and it's like 40 some, around 40 some degrees or whatever. It feels a little bit colder than that, but since we have the sun, I'm going to try to keep it in almost direct sunlight. I know the product's not supposed to be in direct sunlight when I'm uh, plastic dipping, but just to keep the uh, heat, besides, you know, warming up the bottle, like somebody recommended in my comment section, thank you for that. I'm going to definitely try it out in this video. Trust me, I'm going to try it out because the uh, spoiler did not go on too happily. Uh, or the, the plastic dip on the spoiler did not go into happily, so I'm going to be trying your recommendation out. Thank you so much for that. I forgot your name. I probably just put it up on the screen just just to give you a credit for the awesome idea. So I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to zip off the uh, screws, start prepping everything, get it cleaned up and everything like that, and we're going to get into it. Part two of the worker bill. Did not see myself doing this. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so I'm just going to be taking off these, I think it's six Phillips head screws. It's not a game, it's a red but the crazy thing is, I literally put this on yesterday, and this product is freaking, it's like so dirty right now. It's like crazy, like just dusty, like the, it looks like the rest of my car, and I'm just like, dude, I literally cleaned this thing off before I put it on my car. Alrighty, so we got the last screw out. Um, also, something else is coming for this this back in. Not gonna say what it is. Not gonna say what it is. Not gonna say what it is. It's gonna be coming soon, probably in January, whenever I get a chance to um, put time aside to learn how to really do it, because I want to try it out myself. So, AKA welding. So yeah, once I learn how to do that, then I'm gonna get something going for this rear end. That's gonna make it look a little bit better from the back. Besides the wicker build, the wicker build just like sets the whole thing off from the back, and I love it so much. It looks so good. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get to start start getting this prepped, get it clean, bring this inside. Yeah, bring it inside real quick, quick, get it cleaned off because it is very dusty. It literally has just a shade of just dirt right here on this thing, and I've only had it for like a day on the car. Well, not even a full day on the car yet. So we're gonna see. We're gonna get it cleaned, and we're gonna get it going. Alrighty, so I got the whole thing prepped and cleaned, warmed up the bottle. It's almost hot to the touch. I kind of warmed it up a little bit too much. I like put a pot on the stove and I turned it on and I let it get a little warm. Turned it off, put the can in and not a can is hot. So yeah, I don't think it's too bad though because uh, it's ready for like I think 130 degrees or whatever like that and it, the water was not that hot. So um yeah so it's all nice and cleaned it has a little few uh few little things here and there but it's plastic dip 
plastic dip literally lays on anything. So I'm gonna get this going really quick. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna. But yeah, this is the old tip that Plasti Dip used to use on their products. I'm, I'm assuming because I bought this one back in, I think, August or like sometime in the summer. I think it was sometime in the summer. And this is the new one they use, and I like this one a lot better. <laughs> it's so much easier to use. I almost sprayed myself in the face with it. But uh, yeah. This is going to be coat number four. <sighs> but once again, shout out to you in the comment section for recommending warming up the can. It never went through my mind that the, the plastic dip itself was just cold and that's why I was coming out in speckles. So thank you. Also, this stuff is drying very fast to say that it's um, 40 degrees outside. Alrighty, so I just applied a very thick coat. I want to let that one dry for like at least five minutes or so, so we can, you know, not look patchy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to let that one dry, hit it with one more coat, or hit it with one more heavy coat, then I'm going to throw the gloss fire on there, and I'm going to put it right back on the car. Well, I'm going to actually let it dry for a while. I got to make sure it doesn't rain too, just in case, because if it rains, then I'm just going to have to leave it off for a little bit. But yeah, it's coming out good, guys. Alrighty, so just finished up with the uh, clearer and it came out so good it's all nice and uniform it's still drying I just finished up the last coat of clear why is it not focusing focus focus okay there we go but yeah still drying finished up the last coat of clear and warming up the bottles really worked so happy about that I'm gonna let it dry for maybe an hour or two and then I'm gonna put it back on um, so this part that's facing me is gonna go towards the spoiler and you're just gonna see the bottom part to where it looks like it's normal so we're gonna see how it looks if I don't like it not just flip it around either way it's it came out really good I'm happy with the result <laughs> surprised at how good it came out but yeah and I'm gonna pick the video back up when it's finished drying and I put it back on the car Alrighty, so I let it dry for about an hour and it looks good so far. So this is the main side that will be shown from the back. So yeah, it looks so good and I'm happy about that. Looks really good, came out really uniform, unlike the last products I was doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this on the car really quick and yeah, I'm gonna catch up with you guys in a second. So I have everything uh, screwed down. It's not completely tight yet, so I'm gonna tighten it up really quick. I was about to open up the trunk and I was like, wait, my camera's on the trunk. So uh, yeah, let me get my uh, screwdriver really quick. But yeah, it came out really good. I love the way it looks. I'm trying to get the camera to freaking change uh, the exposure. All right, there we go. So yeah, it came out looking really good. Yeah, so this is what I wanted from the the Z01 add-on store, but yeah, I messed that up, so I just went ahead and fixed it. So it came out really good, and luckily, like if it has scratches or anything, I just peel it off. If I don't wanna, if I wanna do a different color, like yeah, if I wanna do a different color, I can actually do a different color too. So that's actually really cool about that. So yeah, but the black, it's where it's at, man. That looks amazing. That looks so much better. Alrighty, so yeah, I'm so happy that it came out really good. Shout out to the person in the comment section. I can't remember your name. Actually, let me pull out my phone right now to see what your name is so I can give you a shout out in this video because you helped so much. Let's see. Alrighty, Jordan Bridge, thank you so much for 
giving me the tip to put the uh, Plasti Dip inside of something like warm water or something like that. That totally worked. That's, this is like the best Plasti Dip has ever came out for me. And I'm really happy about it. And I, oh, oh, thanks to you because, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, towards the end, it started getting a little, a little, um, uh, what's it called? A little speckly, speckly, uh, Towards the end, it started coming out a little rough out of the can because it, it started, the can started getting cold because since it's cold out here. But yeah, it totally worked out. I'm so happy about the product. It came out so nice. Literally the first time Plasti Dip has ever come, come out this good for me. And I love it so much. It looks great. It looks amazing. And I just can't stop staring at it, staring at it outside of, out of my uh, rear view mirror. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, Let's... In this video, let's comment the word Plasti Dip. If you stay to the end, comment the word Plasti Dip in the comment section. I'm going to pin it, and I'm going to comment on it. And yeah, comment the word Plasti Dip. It's going to get a, a heart, and I'm going to comment back on it. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys the uh, spoiler one more time before I exit the video. Man, that looks so good. Oh, goodness. Oh, I love it. Alrighty guys, but yeah, peace out.